Hello, sir. Hello, honeybee. Can you tell me what you're doing? Well, I'm going to be gluing these pieces of wood together into a big block to make a blank for a bowl. So gluing is almost an art in itself. <laughs> takes a lot of trial and error, but I've found it helps if you've got a little bit of a rough surface, so don't sand it like super fine, use a rough grit. And the glue is the, that's the, the tough part. Cause you don't want too much or your, it'll seep out of your seams even after it's dry. But if you don't have enough, of course, it'll come apart. That's where the uh, art comes in. <laughs> so what do you call your bottle of glue? I call my bottle of glue, Mr. Ed. <laughs> <laughs> that is dark. It is, it is, but you know, it's just my sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you call your lathe? I call my lathe Kathleen because people that use lathes are called turners, so Kathleen Turner. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it would be Kathleen Lathe Turner. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was, you know, she got married. So. Yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. Lathe is her married name. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do you have a name for your miter saw? Mm, not really. I guess you could call it uh, Old Blue because it's cobalt brand and isn't it blue? Yep. Yep, there you go. You're my boy blue. You're my boy blue. <laughs> exactly. It's hard to describe how much glue to put on because it's like The, the the barrier between too much and not enough is so slim. Your woodworking ancestors speak to you and tell you when to stop, right? Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> That's about how it goes. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a balance like you have to put enough on so that it soaks into both pieces of wood. But I learned if you put too much on, you get these ridges that come out even after it's dry. And will you be sanding this or cutting it on the saw to make it evenly like square? I will be doing both actually. Oh, okay. Yes. So I'll, I'm going to be making two blanks like this and oh. I will be putting them together. A oh, criss how cool. Crisscross. Nice. Yeah. That'll be cool. So That'll I'll have to. create a really neat pattern. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'll have to sand this, you know, perfectly flat and then mm. I'm going to cut the So it doesn't matter that. that there's glue on the outside. No. no. It, it, it'll be sanded off. Yeah. At this point, that really doesn't matter at all. And I scrape that off with a chisel before I, I sand anyway, so it doesn't gum up my belt. Yeah, and then the, the soaking up part too, like walnut is a bit more absorbent than ash. So the right amount when you're gluing walnut and ash together is not necessarily the right amount when you're gluing two pieces of ash together. One's thirstier than the other? Yep, one is much thirstier than the other. So you can actually get into a situation where you don't put enough on and it all soaks into one and not the other. And when you're making, a lathe blank, you want to be 100% sure that that thing's not going to come apart on you <laughs> while it's on the lathe. Oh, yeah. yeah. That would be scary. Yeah, yeah. To say the very least. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're lucky if it's only scary. Yeah. No face shield's going to protect you from that. No, no. You're, you know, you're, your digits probably aren't going to have a fun day. But... If you're certain that your joinery is good, then you don't have to worry about it. Good old tight bond number three, ultra strength. Waterproof? Waterproof. In my opinion, it's the best stuff there. Best stuff there is. 
And just before anybody says, how do you know? It's the best stuff I've used. I'll put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Well, have you, have you used all the glues in the world? No, but I have used Elmer's and Craftsman, and I prefer Type Bond in all of its yeah. forms. You know, and when you find something that works for you, mm -hmm. that's good. Yep. And then these bottles, that too. Got that at Walmart. And Is that those just like ketchup yeah, yeah, bottles? it's it's yeah. basically just like a refillable picnic ketchup bottle. That's cool. But it works so perfectly. Because the bottles that it comes in, it is not very easy to dispense mm -hmm. the glue out of those. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So what would you say to people who are, like, are watching and would be like, oh, your ends are, like, why don't you just make your pieces of wood even at the end to begin with? Well, I mean, various reasons. For one, I'm working with uh, pieces of scrap. Uh -huh. And uh, so they weren't necessarily all the, the same to start with. They were close enough. Yeah. And on the lathe, as long as it's square when you put it on there and and level and all that kind of stuff it doesn't really matter if it's rough because everything's going to be carved away gotcha yeah and i'm sure people have different ways of doing things yeah and i like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room because mm -hmm. it's very you know it's easy for the pieces to shift when you glue them together mm -hmm. and so you know i i always like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room if i have the uh you know, you can always take it away, but you can't put it back. Like my uh, friend that taught me to woodwork I would say, uh, I cut that board three times and it was still too short. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't putting that back together. Yep. <laughs> yeah, cut that board three times and it was still too short. <laughs> and they don't make board stretchers anymore. They stopped making those in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> they just don't make them like they used they to. They don't. They really don't. And that's not a joke when it comes to tools. Oh, that's boy. That's true. The older yeah. tools were so much better. Yeah. I mean, that's the case for a lot of things. Yeah. All right. This is going to be loud. Just to warn you. Now, let's get these on. This is always a little bit of a, a dance. Okay, actually, I'm going to come around here. Turn it. Okay, so now this part is tricky because you got to get the clamps on there. Just, you got to get them nice and square. Otherwise, it wants to slide all over the place on you. But the tricks that I've learned can help with that. And there's a, there's a couple of methods uh, that you can use. So you can, uh, you can put the glue on the pieces of wood and leave it open to dry a little bit so the glue's a little tackier, mm -hmm. it's easier to work with. Mm -hmm. Or you can uh, do what I do, and what I do is Something I've found over the years is uh, you only need about five or ten pounds of pressure on there before the glue sticks it all together. So if you put your if you put the pressure on very slowly and carefully, it'll stick together real good for you. And you can just put the clamps on immediately like I am now. So there's a thing there's such a thing as putting it on too tight. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. If you put it on too tight, you'll squish the glue out from between the boards mm -hmm. and you've defeated the whole purpose. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And then how long does the glue have to cure? Uh, I, at least 18 to 24 hours if you're going to be doing something like, mm -hmm. you know, lathe work. And, and then the next step after that, after it's done drying, you will, what, what will you do then? I will sand it nice and flat and smooth mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the top and bottom anyway okay um and then i will cut them nice and square and then i'll glue them together 
And then why is it that sometimes you cut the corners off and sometimes you don't? Well, I, I always cut the corners off before I mount it on the lathe. Oh, I um, see. So you it won't be square. It'll be... Octagonal. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah, that's yeah. what I was confused about. Yeah, sorry. It'll be octagonal. It's okay. And, and on smaller blanks, I... I cut the corners off after they're done drying. Okay. But on this one, it's so big, I'm going to cut the corners off of both pieces before I glue them together, and that way it's just... Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. So there's going to be another one that's identical to this one? Yeah, yeah. A little bit taller, but more or less identical. So then after the two blanks are all cut, mm -hmm. then you're going to glue those two together. Yeah. And then once... it'll be another 18 to 24 hours after that. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then it will be ready to put on the lathe. Yes. Okay. And then you'll carve it into a bowl. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And with a bowl this size and the different kinds of wood and stuff, it'll probably take about six to eight hours, give or take. Oh, on the lathe? Turn... Yeah, on yeah. the lathe to carve it. Cool. So what day do you think you'll have this done by? Uh, let's see here. It'll probably be done by, what day is today? Uh, uh, Thursday. Thursday, uh, So let's yeah. see here. Most likely I will have this done by Monday. Awesome. Yeah. Just in time for your special appearance yep -er. on Tuesday. Yep, yep. We will announce that at another time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be on a... Very famous t TV talk show. Yes. <laughs> no, not that one. No. <laughs> I don't even think that's on anymore. <laughs> I. It wouldn't surprise me if it was, honestly. <laughs> Everybody yeah. likes a side show. You'd be on the Jerry Springer show, and mm. our old neighbor who thought you were faking your blindness would oh, be on there. Yeah. Be like, I saw him sitting in his backyard reading a People magazine. I'm dead. <laughs> It was before I got my camera, so I ain't gotten a picture. <laughs> that is a true story, by the way. Yeah. Someone uh, <laughs> said that they did not like me because they saw me sitting in the backyard reading a People magazine. Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, whatever. They, and he was a very strange person, so. <laughs> yeah, they, uh. It was interesting, that's yeah. for sure. He, he used to get up on his ladder and look over into our yard. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Fun, fun for everyone. And then his wife did karaoke really loud to Neil Diamond. <laughs> we called it dinner theater. Yes, dinner theater. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, when you tighten the clamps, this is also very important. You want to put the pressure on very slowly and evenly, top and bottom. So you want to. So then the pressure is even all yes, around. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Awesome. So you're done with that one, and then the mm -hmm. next one will be exactly like it. Exactly. All right, well, we'll make another video when the next step is happening after mm -hmm. the both of the blanks have dried. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks, everybody.